Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. This man stands ready. A little bit of a go here onto the Nyx. The Assassin might be able to finish him off here. The Spike Carapace gives him a little bit of space. He does have a Mango to go for the stun. He's going to try and dodge his way through the trees. Does so excellently and will still be able to make out. Unbelievable. Oh, he barely gets clipped by the stun though and will end up going down. That's going to be the first. Rev going to be pushed out. Combination of Shadow Word and Fatal Bonds. Going to make him go all the way back to the fountain. In fact, oh god, is he actually dead? Oh, wow. That was way more damage than I expected. MP picks up the level 6, and with that, they make a wraparound with the lion and catch the Nyx assassin. Midwan gets a little bit of extra cash, apparently, with uh, the illusion rotation. Mid. Midwan. Refraction, but it's going to be burned through so quickly, and a nicely placed Sunstrike from Team My Wild will finish off the kill. They've actually spotted out Shoshlo as well as the Doom, so it looks like instead Puppy may be the target here of this gank. As long as they hit the stun, they'll get the kill, but they miss it, and it will not be enough nuke damage by itself. Puppy's going to live, walks himself away, and now Flipside actually needs to start backing up because mid one's going to make his first rotation over. He's got the Templar Assassin Trap already slowing him down. Another one on its way in three more seconds. Turn around, stun. will land on Puppy. Sun Strike. Is that going to be enough? Almost. If only Vanscore's nuke could hit, but Vanscore turning around like that is actually going to cost him a death against Midwan. They're going to try and go on Midwan instead as the Warlock comes in and drops the Golem, but they only burn through the Refraction, now hitting the stun. If they get a little bit lucky with the Golem hits, Meld, they've got the burn damage on Midwan. He's got to find a way out of here. Two more seconds, pops the Wand, another Meld is up, a Refraction as well coming up in a second. Midwan might have just escaped this one. Meanwhile, the Warlock's going to be gone on by Roger. He's dead, absolutely. A question of whether or not our Templar says or Maybe not. Roger actually surviving, looping around the tower. Mid one also survives. Mid one. Oh, another missed stun there from Shotslo. The stun from the lion certainly not going to miss, but the sun strike it won't miss either. And that means mid one is now down for the count. For Ev TPs will take the take the ancient stack for now. They were right though. Mid one was going to wrap around just as they kind of expected. Shotslo will be able to land that stun. Refraction holds most of the damage at bay, but eventually burns through. And mid one maybe yeah is going to go down. The last bit of damage. We threw the second refraction, and now they'll still TP in. Defend their tier 2 tower. They've taken the stack, keeping mid one down. Everything's looking pretty good for Flipside Tactics. Not too much to worry about, even the Doom. Well, Doom's going to be saved. The nice Warlock Golem going to be dropped now. The Disarm goes out on the Lycan. Lycan's going to get burned to death by the Doom, and Doom survives. Dire structures are fortified. Dire Ogre going to be caught by a rotation from the Nyx Assassin. Always nice to have an Invoker on your team with that global presence of the Sunstrike. Toss back, advance score straight to the stun from Pylai Dai with mid one closing the distance. Nice dodge on the Snix Assassin stun. Mid one will be able to keep on right clicking and finish off the Doom. Yeah, they, they already have the ward down. Uh, Flipside did. Nice counter ward situation though. They can actually get this kill on Shotslo. That'll be big, but a turnaround three man stun. A stun strike run on the edge will be, do some damage to Puppy as well as Pylai Dai. Sidoy is here in the neighborhood. The Doom's making his way over to Roshan as well. Roger, he poked his head in first. He may actually go down immediately as the target of Secret's Vengeance, but they're going to be able to go on the Doom as well and chasing Tame My Wild back. Looks like Flipside tactics is just a bit too split until finally Sidoy to the rescue turns around with a nuke and they manage 
to get that kill. Mid one is going to be chased away as well. He may end up going down. Pile I die, not hit by the Sun Strike, but the Four Spirits will claim the kill as well. Templar Assassin goes down inside the pit. A two for three so far. But flip side, they're not done yet. They want the last remaining heroes of Team Secret. MP, he's going to pop the ultimate. Oh no, he runs straight into Puppy. Fortunately, Puppy didn't get hit by that stun, but it doesn't matter. Cedo is too big. He managed to take down the Lycan. Puppy, he goes for a couple kills of his own. He managed to find two, and now it's just him versus Cedoy. Mono a mono plus the extra help of the pet. He can actually do all by himself. He gets bashed up by Roshan. Perez coming across. He's got the combination ready to go. If he goes on Puppy here, he may be caught in a trap. Red, close the distance, gets a combination, brings Cedoy low, but now Roger here once again to the rescue. Manages to get the perfect ultimate laid down, gives Cedoy the space. They'll turn around and go for the Warlock instead. The sun goes out onto the tiny. Roger's just hoping to get a little lucky with some Warlock Golem bashes, but it doesn't actually happen. Secret will back themselves away. Not too happy with the way the situation has gone, especially if they lose mid one. Shotsho is still coming in. Mid one gets burnt down by the Invoker's combination, and they still manage to get the stun on Pylai Die. Vance Court closes the distance, manages to get the Infernal Blade, slowing down Pylai Die with the nuke. Oh, let's see what Tito could do. God Strength already popped. He comes in with Golem. Nance to get the two man stun in the cleave. Ripping Team Secret apart. He claims Roshan grabs the Aegis. Two down from Team Secret. They thought they could do it, but Flip Side can test beautifully. And Secret will lose a third as well as Puppy. Inevitably drop Flip Side tactics now. A huge lead in game number one. Warlock Olam is down, as well as God Strength. The Team Secret are hoping to be able to fight this one, but it starts off pretty bad for them. The Lion has already been picked, and now Forev starts getting kited around. That Ice Wall is not going to help either. Forev does manage to get a decent toss back. Nyx Assassin underneath the Tier 3 tower will go down in exchange for the Tiny's life. 70 to 12. Team Secret, despite trying to force that fight, will come out on the losing end. 1 to 2. And, but the fact that you have no real easy pickoffs for it, for any of your cores, like TA, Lycan, as well as the Tiny, all rely on free support kills, essentially, and they won't have them. In fact, quite the contrary, we're going to see Forev get gone on by supports. Nyx Assassin leaves the way, Vanscore follows it up, and Warlock will help a little bit as well, 18 to 12 now. Yeah, it really is, Cedoy. He's going to drop his uh, Aegis here, actually. Toss finishes him off with a little bit of an earn charge, so nicely played. Maybe they can actually hold without their Lycan and without his ultimate. We're going to see Flipside Tactics go in again, knowing that with some of the, uh, well, like that, like an ultimate being on cooldown, they still have an advantage, and they're going to find their opportunity. They managed to get a three-man stun coming out for the Warlock Golems. Cedoy follows that one up and takes down two. Vanscore will chase away the third. That's going to be Forev doomed up all the way back to the Tier 4 Towers. He may end up going down. He's going to try and make his way to the fountain, but either way, Lane of Rax is going to have some problems here. Shajlo. Already setting himself up, a tower inside the enemy base. Stun comes out, managed to land on the Lycan while he's in ultimate form, and the Stormbolt also follows that one up. They're delaying this Lycan's progression pretty well. They managed to get a two minutes in. No! Flip side! Find the opening. Secrets positioning in team fights is a notable weakness, and Flipside just pounce on that one. They get the two-man stun straight into the fireball, and Flipside tactics force the GG out of Team Secret in this game one nice and early.